Hi, in this short video, I would like to show you how you can use and define slash commands in Thea AI and the Thea ID. With these commands, users can very easily trigger predefined prompts or even complex workflows. I'm doing this from Eclipse Source. Let's directly dive into the demonstration. I'm now in the Thea IDE. Please note that you can use slash commands also in any other tools built on Thea. So let's start with a simple example and show you what you can do with slash commands and then discuss what slash commands are there and finally how you can define your own. So I want to start with a simple example. If you in the chat press slash, you will see a list of all slash commands that are currently available for the agent that is pre-selected. Some slash commands are available for all agents, some are scoped to specific agents. And as we can see, I have three here, address GitHub review comments, fix a GitHub ticket, or remember something. I want to show you the second one, fix a GitHub ticket. Now to fix a GitHub ticket, I need a, a GitHub ticket. And let me quickly switch over to GitHub. So I'm an example project here. It doesn't matter what this is about, but I have a ticket here with the number 35. Let's just quickly copy that over. And now in slash commands, you can add a parameter. In this case, obviously, it's the ticket number. It's also documented when you hover over the slash command. And now let's just run this. Now, what will happen now is I trigger a predefined workflow that is described in a prompt. Um, and what the agent will do based on this prompt, it will get the information about this ticket from GitHub. It will analyze the issue. It will determine whether it is able to fix it. And if so, it will directly fix the issue. Now that you get a little bit of an impression that this is not just one sentence, I can show you the prompt that is currently triggered. Let's bring it over here. Um, we see it down here because this is a built-in command. And we see it's quite a workflow, right? Because we do not only want to fetch the information, we also want to do some assessment on the solution. Um, so we are at uh, maybe 100 lines of prompt here. So this is a pre-defined right. workflow that basically fixes the bug. And now we can see it already started to fix the bug. We can see the result here. We could also run this in agent mode that we don't have to review the result and so on. Um, but what we can see, I've basically automated a simple workflow. Otherwise, I would either need to copy over the content or I would need to describe to my agent, hey, could you please um, get the content from this issue? So in any case, I would need to do some additional work under the slash command. It's basically almost zero. Before I show you how you can define your own commands, let's quickly look at the available commands that are built in, into the Thea ID. You can easily review them when you just press slash. Uh, you will see a list of all the available commands. Um, and we see here address GitHub review. What this will do, it uh, will take a GitHub review number as a parameter, and then it will get all the review comments and try to address them locally. Um, and the last one is an interesting one. That's the remember command. As you might know, um, their AI has explicit project context support. So it maintains a file locally, which contains additional information uh, for the AI about your project. And whenever you have the feeling that uh, the agent does something uh, that is based on missing information, you can use this command and it will reflect on the concurrent conversation and augment the project context file with this additional knowledge. For example, if it doesn't follow code conventions. Please note that slash commands are actually agent specific. The three commands I see here is uh, are because I selected coder as a default agent. But if I select another agent, for example, architect, and then press slash again, I would see a different list. We see we still have the remember command because that's available for all, all agents. But I also have another one, which is called analyze GitHub ticket. This is very similar to the implement GitHub ticket slash command, but it will only analyze the issue and then basically create a plan that can um, afterwards it be implemented by a coding agent. So now let's create your own uh, or own custom command. Now creating your own custom slash command is as easy as creating one file. And you can of course use AI to do that. To not bore you with the details, I've prepared that and I would just show it to you. So slash commands are defined in um, simple files. We can see that here in the prompt directory, I've created a file dot prompt template and let's open that. Um, this file has a little bit of metadata. It says it is a command. It defines the name of the command. This is the name which would I can execute it in the chat, a description. What I've done here is I've automated a prompt that I very frequently use in my daily work, but also in demonstrations. And what this does is test the application um, with a specific focus. So for example, a certain feature that the test should focus on. Um, then you can optionally 
specify arguments. Um, here, what I specify is the test focus, so the topic that I want to test. And finally, you can optionally scope a command to a specific agent. You don't have to do that. It can be also available to all agents, but in my case, it makes sense to focus this on the agent that can test application, the app tester. And then I have a very simple prompt. I kept this example very simple. Test the application running on localhost 3000, focusing on, and then I refer to the argument that the user can input. And just by creating this file, we can now go to the chat. And this time I talk to the app tester agent. And now I can press slash and we see only one uh, command is available. I can just press enter and then I can specify the focus. So for example, um, I want to focus on multiplication. You might know this if you've seen previously. And then I can just hit enter. Now I don't have to type anything else. It really will execute exactly this prompt with the argument. And we can see over here, let's move this over. It starts to test my application, focusing on multiplication, of course. And that's basically it. So let's wrap up. In this short video, I've shown you the slash command support in Thea AI and the Thea IDE. In the Thea IDE, you can just use them as a user or define your own. Keep in mind that with the Thea platform and Thea AI, you can also build your own domain-specific and tailored AI native tools for various use cases. And then you can use uh, features like the slash commands and many others to improve the workflows of your users. If you need support with that, Eclipsos is here to help. We are a tech partner for building AI native tools and IDEs. Finally, if you like this video, please leave a like and con consider to subscribe to our channel and see you in the next video.